Hey there class, Mr. Fassbender here. Today I want to show you a little bit about how to finish up with your Ignite Talks as I know that a lot of you are nearing the end but maybe you don't know how to put the final touches on it, specifically related to setting the transition times between slides. And so as you know, the expectation for this particular talk is that it should be 20 slides, each with 20 pictures, uh, one, uh, one picture per slide, okay? So 20 slides in total of images. Here is an example of an Ignite Talk that I created uh, last year. And in order to create the transitions in um, PowerPoint, it's actually quite simple. You simply go up here if you have the latest version of um, Microsoft PowerPoint, which I believe this is 2016. You go over here to Transitions, and you can choose the different transition that you would like. I like a simple fade. And then you actually go to your slides. I don't do anything for the first one because I might want to actually manually do this one. So I might do this one just on the mouse click. But then on the second one, and all throughout, I'm going to actually change the expectations of that slide amount to after. You're going to click on that box. And then the magic number, of course, is 20 seconds. And so I'm going to go all the way to 20 seconds. And 20 seconds is our magic number. And so since I have highlighted, I have hit uh, the first one. I've scrolled all the way down to the last one. I've hit Shift to select all. And then I simply clicked after, and then I created 20 seconds here. So it's actually quite simple in PowerPoint. Now, if you're doing it in Google Slides, it's not as simple. What you want to do if you're doing it in Google Slides, here's the same presentation just in Google Slides. You're actually going to have to publish this to the web right here. And then you are going to click over here. You can see Auto Advanced Slides. And the uh, default is three seconds, but we don't want three seconds, we want 20 seconds. And as you can see, 20 seconds is not an option. I think the easiest way to handle this actually is to click 30 seconds, and then you're going to hit Publish. And then you're gonna hit OK. <clears throat> and you can see here is the new link to our Google Slide. And this is going to be actually what we're going to use to copy. So we're going to copy it, and that's what we're going to use when we do our presentation. So I've copied it, I'm going to paste it up here, and you can see these numbers all the way in the back. This 3 and 0 represents the 30 seconds per slide that we're going to do. Now, we don't want 30 seconds, we want 20, so I'm going to change that 3 to a 2, and then I'm going to hit Enter. And as you can see, my Ignite Talk pops up right here. And when I'm ready to give my talk, I'm going to probably go to the next slide, slide two, because this is where it's going to begin. I'm going to hit play. And you can see after 20 seconds, this slide is going to change from this one to the second slide. So it automatically times it out for 20 seconds for you, because you don't want to be clicking through as you're doing your presentation. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to email me text me, call me, whatever you need to do. I very much look forward to seeing all of your presentations tomorrow, and I can't wait to see everyone. Take care.